Right click in the hierarchy, go to 2D objects and create a sprite. Then in the inspector, go ahead and set that to your player sprite. Add a box collider 2D to it and then add a rigid body 2D component. And then we're going to create a script called player movement. First, we need to declare a few variables. First, a public rigid body 2D called RB. Then a public float called move speed. Then a private sprite renderer called SR. A public float called jump force. A private float called move input. A private boolean called is grounded. A public transform called feet position. A public float called check radius. And a public layer mask called what is ground. In our start method, we're going to set RB equal to get component rigid body 2D. And then we're going to set SR equal to get component sprite renderer. And now we can move on to our update method. In here, we're going to get the player's input. So move input equals dot get axis raw horizontal. Then we're going to create a new method called face move direction. And in here, we're going to see if move input is greater than zero. If it is, then we want to set sr.flipx equal to false. Next, we want to say else if move input is less than zero, sr.flipx equals true. Then back in our update method, we're just going to call this. Next, we need to create another method called jump. And in here, we're going to set is grounded equals physics 2D dot overlap circle, feet pos dot position, check radius, and what is ground. Then we need to check to see if is grounded is equal to true and if the jump button is pressed. If it is, then we're just going to set rb dot velocity equals vector 2 dot up times by jump force. And then back up in our update method, we're just going to call this. After that, we then need to create a fixed update method. And in here, we're going to type rb.velocity equals new vector 2 move input times by move speed rb.velocity.y. And then lastly, for visual representation of how big our ground check is, we're going to create a on draw gizmos method. And then inside it, we're just going to type gizmos.drawwiresphere feet position dot position check radius. And then we can save it and head back into Unity. Once back in Unity, we're going to create a new layer mask called ground and then we're going to assign this to everything that we want to be our ground and then on our player where it says what is ground we're going to set this equal to our ground layer mask that we just created next we're going to right click on the player and create an empty we're going to call this feet pos then i'm just going to drag the feet position to where the place feet would be and then in our player movement script we're just going to drag and drop that into our feet pos variable then i'm going to set check radius to something like two then i'm going to set move speed to something like 50 and jump force to something like 75. Then next we're going to create a 2D physics material. And then we're going to set the friction to 0. And then we're going to assign that into our material on our box collider. So now when we hit play, you can see our player moves around the screen and is able to jump from section to section. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more game dev content. And as always, I'll see y'all later.